with planets like Manan, Mon Cala, and Kamino being very important within the Star Wars universe, you would think that the Empire probably not only had a strong space navy, but a wet navy as well. And for those who don't know, the wet navy is basically the arm of the navy that engages in sea warfare or ocean warfare. And this distinction is important because unlike in the real world, when you say navy in the Star Wars universe, you're generally referring to an organization's space military forces. So for example, Star Destroyers were a large part of the Imperial Navy. So just when I say wet navy or aquatic navy, you guys should know that I'm talking about boats and submarines, other things like that. So I was actually wondering this, does the Empire actually have a wet navy? And of course, the answer is yes, they do. And this shouldn't be surprising. I mean, we saw, for example, in the Clone Wars TV show that even the Confederacy of Independent Systems had some aquatic troops. So it's not surprising that an organization as large as the Empire would have a navy as well. So the Empire's wet navy was called the Imperial Maritime Division, or also sometimes simply and confusingly, the Imperial Navy. And much of what we know about this section of the Imperial military comes from the game Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, which was a 2001 PC real-time strategy game. And in that game, you could create various ship classes, including cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and heavy versions of those classes. And of course, the game also featured other utility ships like transport ships, trawlers, and anti-aircraft ships. Although not necessarily named outright the Maritime Division, the Imperial's Wet Navy has also appeared in various other works. We know, for example, that the Empire had a garrison on the water planet Sedri. And the way they set this up really tells us a lot about how the Navy would have operated. So, along with the base itself, which was a pretty standard looking Imperial base surrounded by water and protected by some sort of ray shield. There was the Wave Skimmer, which was kind of a combination of a boat and a submarine because it could go over the water, kind of like a hovercraft would, and then also go underneath. And these ships carried aquatic assault stormtroopers, which as the name would suggest, are basically stormtroopers designed to operate underwater. And they look pretty much like you'd expect them to. Stormtroopers wearing scuba gear, using harpoon guns, which seems a little basic compared to some of their other weaponry. Garrisons on water worlds would also use very familiar Imperial technology, including, for one, the TIE Fighter boat, which was basically a modified TIE Fighter that could skim on top of the water or, as with the previous vehicle, also operate as a submarine. Another technology that will also be familiar is the Aquatic Terrain Armored Transport, also known as the AT-AT Swimmer, and this is basically a modified version of the AT-AT without legs, also used as a submarine. Basically, instead of having legs, it had repulsor lifts, which would push it through the water. And I'm not gonna lie, this thing was a little silly. Other than what was previously mentioned, the Navy also used various other types of submarines, including a deep sea variant called the Explorer Submergible. They also had a few ships that were used primarily and solely as boats, including the Light Assault Wave Walker, the amphibian assault boat, and various other technologies. Anyway, what I've mentioned so far isn't a comprehensive survey of the Imperial's aquatic navy or their wet navy, but I think the answer is obviously very clear that yes, the Empire could operate on the seas, and I'm sure they could do so quite fearsomely. Anyways guys, I hope that was informative. It's an interesting question, and one that I was wondering myself. Let me know what you guys wanna see over the next few days, and I'm gonna try to take one of the ideas from this video and make it this weekend. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, may the force be with you.